Hi, this is Richard Butwin, co-president and CEO of Butwin Insurance Group. Today we're going to talk about business interruption insurance. Business interruption is one of the most critical yet overlooked parts of a property and casualty insurance program. It is the area that can most easily put you out of business if not written correctly. Business interruption is designed to make up your lost profit and continuing expenses should you be out of business due to a covered loss. In addition, there's a separate line called extra expense which is designed to pay your extra expenses to get back in business as soon as possible. For example, if you had the ability of renting space nearby, renting equipment, desks, or whatever appropriate for your business, yet it would cost two, three times the amount of money, the insurance carrier would pay that extra expense to get you up and running. The idea is to be in business because when you're not in business, your customers will look elsewhere. On the business income side, we're going to pay your lost profit, your salaries, starting with the executive payroll and optionally with the remainder of the staff, plus all continuing expenses such as taxes, rent, and other things that might go on even though you're not in business. Lastly, there's an issue of what we call contingent business interruption. The same exposures that you have at your location exist both at your customers and at your suppliers. For example, if your largest customer has a location that represents 20% of your business and last night they had a fire, you would suffer the same devastating loss had it occurred at your location. Similarly, if it occurred at a supplier who represented 20% of your material and last night they had a fire, you would be unable to make at least a product line. So when considering business interruption insurance, you also consider these suppliers and customers for the same type of coverage. Last question is how much business interruption insurance do you need? There are simple business interruption worksheets and tutorials available to determine this amount. It is an area where while one is prone to try to buy as little as possible, you should be conservative in purchasing the coverage. We've never come across a situation where the business interruption loss was less than what we expected it to be. It costs a significant amount of money to get a company up and running as quickly as possible. Again, thank you very much for your time. This was Richard Butwin for Butwin Insurance Group.